Hello, hello, hi, hi, hello. Welcome, welcome to Barebones Kitchen. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. Cheers. I had to open a second one because I was almost done with this one. So, double cheers? Double cheers, anybody? Double cheers, all right. So welcome, Kitchenettes, Kitchen Littles, and Kitchen Nuggets. How are you all doing tonight? Um, it's, it, it's almost kind of weird to have to entertain you all by myself. But it's okay. We've had so much fun this last couple of weeks. Have you all had fun? We had Nick Nick just right out of the gate and showing us some trifling stuff. That was delicious, by the way. Uh, we had Melissa a couple times. She showed us some amazing and d delicious different Filipino recipes. I'm very excited to try those on my own. And hopefully I can create them or recreate them in a positive light to the Filipino community. So, yay, yay. And then last week we had a debacle with the uh, the pepper pasta. Yeah, that was a nightmare, you guys. It tasted good, but holy crap, that was a nightmare. And can I just say that I actually went and bought the proper cheese this time because I'm going to give it another whirl. I'm going to give it another whirl. I'm going to see how it works out for me. So hopefully it will be much better. All right, so tonight I thought, hang on. We would do a pesto. We have not done scratch pesto. Um, let me tell you right out of the gate, you guys, it's going to be a lot cheaper if you just buy the stuff that's already pre-made. But if you are worried on any level, or if you happen to have a lot of basil growing, I am tonight I am just drinking Corona Familiar. This is uh, very similar to a Blue Moon. And I like it, of course, with my beer salt, because those are like my jams. Um, but, okay, thanks for getting me sidetracked, Nick. So, this beer salt, this one is a lemon-lime one. I love the orange one, and I cannot find it in the stores anymore. It's my favorite, though, so I have to go to the lemon-lime. They have lots of different flavors of these, but I just, I just like the, the addition. That's why when we go out, I usually will get an orange slice, because I really just like, I don't know, I just like that flavor. It's good. It's good stuff. So... Anyways, you've sidetracked me enough. I am a few minutes late already, so I apologize for that. Um, but I thought we would just do a pesto, and I'm telling you guys right now, like, pesto's expensive to make, kind of, um, but the quality you're going to get is going to be way different than what you're going to buy. So, weigh your decision, okay? Just weigh your decision. Know that you can usually find the cheese. Um, I'm actually using the rest of the Romano from last week's debacle, but Parmesan is the way to go. Romano's just a little bit more mild than the Parmesan, so whatever. Like, you do you. Pine nuts are nuts, and I actually have pine nuts. I actually got the pine nuts. Um, I just opened them so that I didn't have to fight with it because I like totally had this weird vision that I was going to, yeah, and then I was going to have flying nuts, okay? So I just went ahead and cut it right out of the gate. That way I didn't have to worry about it. This is a half, a, about a half a cup is what it says. Uh, this little tiny bag of about a half a cup cost me like $6, but I went to Safeway. So like, honestly, you could probably find them a lot cheaper somewhere else. I'm not going to lie. But it is what it is. And also, because I went to the the uh, small the small Safeway on my way home, they didn't have any big containers of basil, so I literally paid like two fifty a piece or something for these guys. And yeah, yeah, it's that it turned out to be a little bit more of an expensive adventure than what I was expecting. But I also was looking for the big container of these that are usually like four bucks, three bucks, four bucks, something like that. Instead, I ended up paying like, we won't even talk about like $12, $13. So hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth it. So these are going to be your basic ingredients. So you've got your basil, you've got your pine nuts. You can also, if you're a little cringy about that price tag, you can also use walnuts. There are plenty of recipes out there like that. I am personally not a huge fan of that, but you do you, boo-boo. I got the Romano cheese, not the Parmesan, so we're just mixing it up a little bit. And then we've got some olive oil, and my, woo, look at that, woof, 
quick reflexes. My three cloves of garlic, I didn't realize they were going to be such gigantic cloves. So that's how we're going to roll it. That's how we're doing it. Like buying the living, I do also. I love buying the 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 live basil. Um, however, I honestly don't really use it enough to justify that. And since I really, honestly, super suck at taking care of plants, um, my mom can attest to that. I super suck at taking care of plants. Uh, I don't know how I managed to have three surviving children. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's because they can tell me when they're hungry and my plants cannot. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's how I'm rolling with that. I maybe should have done this a little bit ahead of time just because then it wouldn't be so loud, but hey, you guys don't care, right? You don't care. And it's so sweet. Nick sent me a message the other day just telling me how much she missed me. And I was like, I miss you too. I miss you too. She was like, I know now that it's only been like two weeks, but yeah. That's what happens when you love people. You miss them. You miss them. All right. I'm just going to kind of chop these up kind of big. They don't have to be because they're going in the food processor. And you guys, you can use a blender, but if you're going to use a blender, you're going to want to mix a lot more and get the stuff off of the bottom. Otherwise, it's going to... It's going to get a little wonky. It's going to get a little wonky if you don't. So you don't want that to happen. That's, there we go. There's, there's my PSA. That's my one PSA for the day. All right. So again, I have my food processor out. This might still be hot. Yeah, a little bit too hot for that. We're going to just start dumping. And I'm going to do the whole thing. Unless the, the stems, when I open these guys, are going to be gigantic. Like, I'm good. I'm good. See, that one's a little gigantic. We're just going to go through these little guys. And we want somewhere around-ish, two-ish or so cups. But who's counting? Y'all know I don't really rock that way. So we're going to put these bad boys in here. Oh, I love the smell of fresh basil, you guys. It's so awesome. Mmm. When I lived in Spokane as a child, there was this little grocery store, and I'm sure I've told this story before. I'm like 98% sure I've told this story before. But there was this little grocery store uh, down the street from our one of our houses that we lived in, and they it always smelled like fresh basil. And as a kid, like I didn't know what the hell that smell was. I was like, oh, what is that smell? Okay, good example of a big old fat stem. I'm not gonna try to. I'm not going to try to do that one. Um, but I, 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 it was like imprinted in my brain. Like I went into that store so many times that I was like, I don't know what that smell is, but after a while it actually started to smell good. And then as obviously I grew up cause I was very young when we lived there. Um, I realized that it was fresh basil. I was like, Oh my gosh, that smells like the grocery store that I used to go to. Well, maybe not really a grocery store. It was more like a little convenience store, but they had a little Italian restaurant too. And man, I never ate there. I, now as an adult, I wish I would have. So next time I'm in Spokane, I'm totally going to Piccolo's to eat at their restaurant because it just smelled amazing. And the Ferrellis out here on Yelm Highway used to have fresh herbs growing in their front area. I don't think they do that anymore. It's been a hot minute since I've been there too, so. I'm going to pull the little flower out. I don't know why. I'm just weird about it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, maybe I bought a lot of basil, but it's okay. It's okay. Two-ish cups. You know what? I'm just going to throw another one in. Just for GP. Because why not? Zane actually loves pesto, so. And maybe I can bring some to work for my work friends tomorrow. I bet Steph would like that. Yeah, so that's my story for, for uh, basil. It's, it smells really delicious, and maybe you're not a fan right out of the gate, but just give it time, y'all. Just give it time.
What are you guys up to these days? I feel like I haven't really got a chance to chat with anybody since I've been doing so many guest guest chefs. All right, we got the basil in there. We're gonna throw in this garlic. Mm. And we're gonna throw in our half a cup of pine nuts. Because that's what it says. It's like about a half a cup, so I don't know. And then we're going to pulse it. And it's going to start looking nice and delicious. Look at that. Ooh. I'm a little bit far away tonight, you guys, and I apologize for that. But because my little... Uh, Food processor, the cord on it is like literally like this big. So, okay, it's a little bit bigger than that, but it wasn't big enough to bring over this way. So, that's why I'm all the way over here. All right, now it's looking a little mealy, which is kind of what we want. We want to get this like little mealy effect. So it's gonna look like like little. Hello, cup. You need to move there, sir, ma'am. All right. Um, do I have? Do I have? Do I have? I need a little spatula. There we go. All right. So it's gonna look a little bit mealy. We just want to kind of push things down and throw things around, cause you know that's how I roll. Just throwing things around. Get some of those bigger chunks off the side. And again, if you're using a blender for this, you're definitely going to want to mix a lot from the bottom if you're using like a traditional blender. If you're using like a, a Ninja single blender, just shake that bitch up. Like flip it over and shake it up just to make sure that everything's not hanging out at the bottom, just sitting there rotating because that's not going to give you good pesto, okay? Put on some crostini with balsamic. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I love Ferrellis too. They really have good food. Hi, Wheeler. How are you? Sorry, you couldn't hear me. See, that's why I opened the second one, you guys. All right. So now we've got our basil in there. It's kind of looking mealy. We've added our pine nuts. We've added our garlic. It smells freaking delicious and amazing already. I am going to add... The cheese now. And again, it's going to get loud, Wheeler, so cover your little precious ears. And we're going to go with about, I don't know, like a half ish cup. I had just, you know, a little bit left. And then we're going to pulse it again. Chunks off the side. So Wheeler, how's it going with your friend? Did she finally like succumb to all of your amazingness or what? Let us know. Because some of us are curious. Okay, maybe I'm the only one that's curious. Yeah. Alright, now we've got that same mealiness, but now we've added some uh cheese. So now we're going to add, we're going to drizzle some of this olive oil. Oh, your poor little sensitive ears. And I am going to put it on one. So cover your ears again. Pro tip. 
once you're adding the oil, you're going to start seeing everything kind of come together. It's going to start separating. It's going to do its thing. And we just want to be very aware because if it's, it's going to be, end up being like about a half a cup ish of the oil. Um, because pesto is a pretty oily sauce. Like, honestly, it's pretty oily. Um, I use olive oil. I'm sure there's other oils you could use. I don't know that you could do avocado oil, but I can't see why not. If you don't want to use any oil at all, maybe throw a little bit of water in there. It is what it is, you guys. At this point, it can be your own experiment. And I'll tell you, I didn't even know what the hell I was going to make until I was literally on my way home from work. I even asked the girls at work, I said, all right, you guys, I have a problem. And they were like, uh-oh, what's your problem? I said, so it's Wednesday. And Miss Ida looks at me and she says, okay. I said, Bear Girls Kitchen Night. I have zero clue what to make. And it's always just about that kid of mine, you know, the, the one that, the, the, the kid that lives upstairs, you know, and he loves pesto. So why not make fresh pesto, right? amazing. I think we're going to cut it right there. I'm not going to do any more oil. I'm not going to add anything crazy. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, which I probably should have added when I added in uh, the cheese, but I didn't. So here we are. We're going to add it and then give it just one little, one little zhuzh. We're going to do a zhuzh. And just know that if you're making fresh pesto, it is going to oxidize. So if you're going to store it and not use it right away, make sure that when you're covering it, you put your plastic down, like actually on it. So just like if you're doing, you know, gravy in the fridge or whatever, you put a little bit of plastic down over the top. So it kind of, it kind of keeps the air out of it. Okay. So that way it doesn't oxidize. So that's what we're doing here. Texted last week. Oh, look at that. Went and back, back and forth. I feel like she's using you too. I feel like, yeah, I feel like she's using you too. And that breaks my heart because I don't know you very well, but I feel like you're a pretty genuine person and nobody deserves to be used. So. Chuck it in the get bucket and move on. That's my, that's my official, my official stance on it. All right. Mmm, it smells so good in my house right now. I'm so excited. So this is what we're getting, you guys. This is what we're getting. Could use a little bit more oil. I don't think so. I think there's plenty of oil in there. I see a little bit of it pooling. Maybe I use slightly too much. But it'll be fine because again it's just kind of an oily situation anyways Ooh, look at that how pretty how pretty all right now we're gonna move on to the other face here all right we're nice and cool there now let me move this this little nightmare mess over this way somewhere my kitchen is so small, you guys, like, honestly, honestly, all right, let me move this, adjust this, sorry, sorry, Instagram folks, like, I'm all up in it, look a right, not too little, yeah, I don't feel like it's too little at all, all right, now we are going to get busy on this pan, and since I had to use this part as my cutting board, because again, hi, kitchen's small, um, and also space is small, Space is small. All right. We need to wait for this to warm up a little bit. So, cheers. Now come back if you got them. What are y'all drinking tonight? Are you drinking some water? Water's good for you. I've been drinking water all day. Yeah. 
it was time for something else. And now my whole entire thing is just like messing up again. Good Lord, you guys, I'm so sorry. Not drinking beer right now. Is that like absolutely not drinking beer right now? Oh yeah, because you're cutting carbs. I forgot. I forgot. Gosh, what a horrible friend am I. This little light, I think I need to upgrade my upgrade my light, you guys. I really do. Okay. Because it's like every time I make one small adjustment, like the whole thing just goes to hell in a handbasket. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to do it this way. No, we're not. Because I can't be having that. I just can't. I can't. See, I try to adjust it. I moved it, and that's the problem moved it and that is the problem is it gonna stay maybe okay I'm not moving it anymore I don't care if you can see my dirty ass kitchen I just I don't care just as long as it doesn't go broop, then we're good it's it is what it is you guys all right so Zane my my lovely my lovely almost 17 year old boy when I told him I was making pesto he had two questions no, he had one question. I had a, I had the back question for it. Okay. His first question was, "What are you putting in the pesto?" See, this is not going to work. Not going to work. Um, what are you putting in the pesto? And I go, "What do you mean? What am I putting in the pesto?" He goes, "Uh, usually you do something like chicken or something, mom." And I'm like, mm, "Yeah, not doing that. Not doing." Okay. Gosh, you guys, I swear if I if I have any more of these little mishaps, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> going to lose my shit. Hey, Jason, how's it going? All right. Maybe? Nope, it just wants to keep Nope. Definitely not. Does not want to do that. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, you guys on Instagram like you're getting my double chin and all. It's like fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. All right. Oh, this light, I tell you, I am going to upgrade my light. Maybe I'll do that for myself for my birthday. I'm going to upgrade my light. Sorry, guys. Am I making you sick yet? Because I totally feel like I'm making people sick because I'm making myself sick just looking at it. Stupid light. It's almost like my phone is all of a sudden too heavy for the whole situation. And I'm like, really? Really? Can I just have one show where there's not a freaking debacle that, like, takes away from the actual situation? Apparently I can't. Apparently I can't. Because it's just going to keep moving forward, and I just, I, I can't. I don't know. Hang on. All right. Sorry, guys, on Instagram. I'm going to take that off of there, and we're just going to go live on Facebook. So if y'all are not on my Facebook, just go follow my Facebook, and then you can continue to watch. Have a good night. End of video. All right. Okay. All right. My Facebook friends, we're going we're gonna to do this one way or another. Okay? One way or another, we're going to get this done. We might have to go old school style because there we go. There we go. Because I don't have the time to waste. I don't have the time to waste. It's not because I've been drinking too much Wheeler. Jeez. I mean, I guess that in the way doesn't really prove anything different than what you're saying. How about that? There we go. All right. I swear I had it all tightened up and then poof, it was done. It was done. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I did my noodles. Let me see here. Yeah, they're all right. I did have them a little undercooked. So we're just gonna get busy on these noodles. I'm gonna scoop them bad boys in this hot ass pan. And Zane, of course, requested the penny. So, again, let me back up. All right. The question he asked was the whole, like, what are you going to put in it? 
The question I counter, countered with was, do you want it creamy? Do you want, you want creamy, creamy sauce? Or do you want just basic pesto? He was like, well, what else are we having with it? I'm like, what else do you want with it? I, could, I mean, I can make some shrimp. He's been on this really weird shrimp kick lately, and I haven't, I don't feel like I've fulfilled the shrimp kick yet, okay? So, he's like, no, you don't have to do that. I go, well, I mean, I guess we have broccoli. I can totally do some broccoli with it. I'm like, mmm, green pesto broccoli. He's like, that's okay, just make it creamy. You bought bread. That's all the kid cares about is bread. Honestly, all he cares about is the bread. All right. We've got our noodles in there. I can't even freaking show you guys this. All right, let me move this. See? It's like old school bare bones kitchen where I used to pick my phone up and show you guys. Now I just happen to have a stand over this way. That's a POS, but we won't even get into that right now. Gotta get you, get you, get you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good, thank you. I appreciate your guys' humor in my, in my pain and loss, okay? I'm just throwing noodles around now. Woo, look at that. Okay. So we just warming these bad boys up again. I'm gonna throw. Mm, let me see, that's about a tablespoon. Mm, we're gonna go like two tablespoons ish. Ish. We're gonna coat these damn noodles with this this uh, fresh pesto. Great, now I've made fresh pesto. You guys, guess what I'll be doing? Fresh pesto. Not that that's a bad thing. And then I have some heavy whipping cream. Use half and half if that's your jam. It makes it a little bit lighter. It's good. And we're just gonna make it kind of, we're gonna reduce it down so it's gonna be a nice, thick, creamy pesto. It's the good stuff right there. the good stuff. But I am going to give this another little shot of salt and pepper because now we've got noodles so it's going to kind of kill the vibe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay. That's kind of sweet. Ooh, broccoli. Instead of oh, you use broccoli instead of rice in your in your peppers, huh? Was that delicious? I bet that was good. You can actually use broccoli in your uh, pesto. You can make a, a broccoli pesto. Somebody at, at culinary school did that. I was like, damn, that's good. She got really mad because I was looking at her recipe. I told you not to look at it. I don't care. Bitch, what are you gonna do? What my ass? Do it. Do it. Then we're gonna throw this little, little itty bitty tiny bit of this cheese in there just to make it, just to make it extra. Because why not? I'm a pretty extra person. All of that cream has reduced down. And look at that. So pretty. You could totally throw some like little cherry tomatoes in here. That would be delicious. Not in my house because I'm the only one that would eat it then. Um, we're going to cut that heat because we don't need it to get all crazy in there. But you could totally do that. You could totally do cherry tomatoes. You could do some just sun dried tomatoes. That would also be very beautiful. Add some chicken breast. Add some shrimp. Add, add whatever you want. Guys, this your show. I'm just guiding you. That's why I'm the coach. I'm just guiding you to where you want to be or think you want to be. Or maybe you just show up for the entertainment. In that case, y'all came to the right spot. And I appreciate that. Because y'all keep showing up. So do I. I did update YouTube. I think I said that on Monday. Um, I'm going to take that off the heat so it's not getting crazy over there. And let's see. We have Suck It Up Saturday this weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. Cilantro pesto, spinach pesto, yes, mmm, carbs. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm such an ass. I should have paid more attention. I apologize. But you'll be back in the carb game soon. I know you will. I know you will. All right. Um, 
some updated YouTube. We got Suck It Up Saturday. I think that I saw, maybe in passing, some lemon, is it lemon chata? I thought that was interesting. So maybe I will get some of that since we're like coming up on, you know, Easter and all. Um, I also have another drink in my back pocket from my lovely kitchenette, Sue, uh, that she's like, you have to do this. You, she goes, it, there will not be mimosas. There will not be mimosas for breakfast on whatever day. She said, this drink is literally better than a mimosa. And I was like, well, that's great because I don't really, I'm not a really a huge mimosa person anyways because champagne makes me feel a little weird. Like one drink, 10 drinks throwing up weird and yeah I'm not about that life so we may try another drink but I think I'm gonna look for that lemon chata I think that's what it's called lemon chata it's like the rum chata but it's the lemon version and they have like a pumpkin spice pumpkin spice chata I, I don't freaking know you guys but I'm pretty sure I'm like 90% sure that it was on clearance at the Safeway on my way home so I may pick up a bottle of that I may do that and then we'll maybe we'll have fun with some lemon chata or whatever the hell they call it I don't know I don't know but that would go well with anything that's Italian right because they got the limoncello lemon chata I don't know I, I've never had it so I couldn't tell you <laughs> all right you guys so I will see you all on Saturday at 6 p.m. for suck it up Saturday again thanks for showing up y'all keep showing up so do I have a lovely evening.